G'day, my name is Brian from Bijan Tech. It's finally here, the new Dell Precision 5470. It's a 14 inch workstation class laptop and the 14 inch size is new to the Precision family. This is also exciting because the Dell Precision team has actually designed this 14 inch from the ground up as a celebration to their anniversary for the Precision line. Now, I do have and did a lot of reviews on the Precision line and I do know that the 15 inch and the 17 inch have very different characteristics. And this 14 inch is the best of both worlds. Now, this is a unboxing and first impression video. Now, I will be creating a review video after to spend a bit of time with it. And I'll make that video available in a link in the description below when that is available. Now, without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. As always, I've got my good old trusty unboxing knife. And let's get this ripper open now. All right, let's get that nice little cut slit. Oh, there we go. This comes in a nice black box, uh, which means let's have a look at what they've got around here. Now, I'm going to try and bring this up. I know they've got new packaging in this uh, as they were trying to hit the sustainable. A lot of the companies are, and Dell have been trying to do that as well. Now, this is all cardboard. Great to do that. Now, I also know they've got this new case, and I'll see if I can bring this. Oh, here we go. Let's see if I can bring this up. It's beautiful, this case. I wish I could actually get a key, but it'd be good, uh, this case. Okay, I'm gonna bring this thing out first. So that is a beautiful, now I'm gonna try and, I don't know how it opens, so I'm just gonna try and hold this together. Uh, that is a very nice precision case here. Uh, it's all made of cardboard as well. Now I'm gonna come back to this in a moment. I'm just gonna have a look what else is in this box as well. Okay, we've got more cardboard here, which is great to see. And then we've got the power cable, uh, that's the free prong. And uh, is the power adapter in here or not? No, I don't see the power adapter in here at all. So, okay, let's just pop this down. All right, let's get down to this one here. I'll just pop this over to this right side here. Now I'm going to hopefully I don't have this fall out on me at all. Okay, we've got a nice little lift. Ooh, okay, well, there we go. And we've got uh, so what I call felt sort of protective bag here. Now I'm going to come back to this in a moment because we always, uh, you know how I always like to see the the power adapter. Okay, so let's have a look. We've got here we are, the power adapter is right here. Now, power adapter is, I'm gonna have to take a very good guess, gonna be a USB-C and power adapter. Let's throw that away. Uh, USB-C, fantastic. Let's, let's have a look at what watch is. 130 watt power adapter, so like the 15 inch. And we're gonna put this aside. That's all that's you can if you've got previous ones you can reuse that one there for a lot of other people First is that we've got some uh, documentation here uh, Again all that stuff. It's recyclable and then again as always we've got a uh, Adapter now this is I'm just gonna try and rip this thing open. It is a USB I and also a HDMI uh, port and it goes to a uh, USB C so this we've seen plenty of times in the precision 15 inch uh, and also the 17 inch will come with one of these here. So this is nothing new uh, uh, But again, I like this box. It's quite nice. Let me pull this thing out No, I can't really pull it out. So that's what we're gonna and I'll just drop this uh, here I'm not sure I'll just put it here. That looks nice kind of cool. All right, we've got this uh, now it says welcome to Dell Let's do great things. I think so as well, too. All right, let's have a look Actually, before I want to see something is uh, I would like to know what material this is made of, but I don't know what this material is made of this bag anyway. Uh, anyone that knows this material, please put a comment below. I, want, I would love to know. More than likely, I, probably this is probably made from recycle anyway, so I'll just chuck that away. Oof, that is beautiful. Look at that. That is premium. Just like the 15 and 17 inch and the previous, that is premium, but I can definitely feel it's nice to see a smaller size in the 15 inch. Now, whoa, that's as good. All right, we've got some, it's actually not that crazy brush aluminium on the edges uh, like I normally see on the Precisions, on the 15 and the 17. It actually follows this sort of texture like the top of the chassis and also the bottom uh, as well too. Now this is all brush aluminium, but it's not that really shiny brush anime, which you can definitely see the difference. Now this one actually covers the same thing. So it keeps it very consistent. I like that. It's a good touch to it. 
Uh, I like the other one, but this has a nice finish because that one does have a little bit, does grab a little bit of smudges. This one won't. Uh, so that's nice here. Oof, that is good. That's a good size. Nice, good weight here, uh, which means it's no longer as heavy as the 15 inch and the 17 inch. And let's have a look at the ports. Let's come along with the ports. Okay, let's look on the left side of the computer. We've got two Thunderbolt 4 ports, and I can see there's also a headphone jack. Excellent, excellent. That's good for lot for video editors because we don't really want to run off wireless uh, as you get a bit of an audio lag and stuff like that. And then we've probably here down here is a slot here. Now I'm taking this, that slot is for smart card reader on this one here. And I can see this one's got the antennas just built in here. This is all hidden away, it's all flush. It's cool. Now along the back, there's nothing along the back. And on the right edge is we've got security lock slot. And they got another two more Thunderbolt 4 ports. And then we've got a micro SD card reader. Fantastic, we've still got that F micro SD card reader. Love it. And then we can see the antenna. Now at the front, we've got nothing there. Woo, all right. Let's get this thing open. Let's have a look at this thing. Now I'm just gonna pop this thing here just to give us a little bit of height here so you guys can have a look at this thing here. Uh, and I am excited to see this actually. I'm gonna put it alongside here. All right, let's see if I can actually put this on the edge so you can have a look at this uh, and as we open this up. All right, here we go. Oof, okay. That is a little different here. Uh, that is a, uh, that's, it's paper. That's something different. Uh, normally you see that sort of felt thing. So that's paper, it's good, sustainable. Excellent, ooh, fantastic. I can just see a little bit. I'm gonna have to push this back so I can see this thing myself. Uh, now it does run off 12th gen Intel Core and you can get anywhere between an i5 or up to an i9. Now it has up to, I might as well just go through some of the specs, they can go up to 64 gigs of RAM, and now that is sold to the system board, so you need to make sure you get the correct amount of RAM for you uh, purchase this computer, so because you can't upgrade it later on. And you got one slot of M.2, and as for the graphic wise, it is an NVIDIA RTX A1000, so it's a studio, so it's a production line, not the gaming ones anyway, for like GeForces. Oof, okay, it's automatically turned itself on, probably because of the AI intelligence stuff that, uh, that it knows that it's opened the lid. Okay, cool. Wow, look at the edges of this. It is pretty much, um, it's got one of those infinity edges, so there's not much borders on either side. Top doesn't have much borders. Uh, it does have a 720p webcam. Unfortunately, I wish that we did get a 1080p webcam. Could be probably because of the sensor size because they've just put the edges so small thin at the top. Uh, but it does have all the, gonna have all that fancy cool stuff uh, about intrusions as well as uh, privacy stuff as well too. It's kind of cool. Anyway, um, now as for the edge on the bottom, there's not much edge on the bottom. So when I put this up, you're not gonna see much edge on the bottom as well too. So the bezel's really nice. Now this is at the moment, uh, I don't know what kind of display I've got here, uh, but I do see this one is a glossy display. I wonder if it's got touch or not. Yeah, it's got touch, so that's why it's got a glossy display. So it's got touch in here. Uh, and as for, now you can see from the palm rest, this has got a carbon weave uh, palm rest as well. Now the touch pad, okay, the touch pad is not crazily over large like the 15 inch. Uh, as a 14 inch, this is a nice size. I'm, I'm gonna pre-predict this one. It's gonna be a very good size because it's not crazy like the 15 inch and 17 inch. This is a good size. I was complaining about the 15 inch being way too large. Uh, and this, I think they've heard of now. Now, is it uh, It is a mechanical one. So it's it's hinged at the top. I can see it straight away you can depress it within, within probably about half a centimeter. You can start depressing it down all the way through. Now, I think this is, uh, I don't know what this little thing is. I'll find out what that is anyway, uh, because that sticker means. The keyboard, wow, the keys are actually quite large. They're actually really large, just like the 15 inch, uh, large keys in between. Got a lot of key travel. So like the 15 inch and the XPS lines, all those ones there that you'll see, this has the same sort of keyboard here, but this is a large keys for a 14 inch. And you've got that, the typical Dell smoothness for each texture for each individual keys. Now I know these are backlit. Uh, I'll test them out. I can see so far three settings for the backlight and for, sorry, the backlit keys. Now, as for the volume, let's have a little play with this volume anyway. So let me get this quickly connected to Wi-Fi and let's get some audio onto this thing. I've got the computer connected to the internet and let's have a listen to the speakers now there are four speakers two tweeters and two woofers so let's get along with this and i've got to set the volume to 50 percent all 
So we change it to 100%. Now as for the speaker's volume itself, I will consider it as like medium loud. And as for the quality of the sound so far I can hear is it is getting closer to what I call the Mac. And I did say one of the best sounding speakers from Dell was the Dell Latitude 9520. Now I would consider this one probably around about 90% there. So this has still has some very good speakers, better than what I would say from the 15 and the 17 inch. Uh, the speakers here still sounds absolutely fantastic, but I like to see a little bit more low end from the speakers, uh, but they have very good acoustics. I can hear that from around here. And also we've got nice clear audio from the speakers. So still Dell just done a good job on the speakers from the first note. So inspecting on the hinge a little bit more, and normally typically we see a hinge on the right and hinge on the left, but now I can see there's actually another added extra hinge area near the middle right, which means Dell has actually made some effort in changing the hinge here and improving it. Good on you, Dell. Coming back to the display, it's got a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, and this particular model we've got here, this particular display, is has a resolution of 2560 by 1600 so it's a wide quad extended graphics array display and so far pretty nice and bright so far as you can see and it has touch as well i talked about this in my live stream about dell producing a 14 inch and also a 16 inch in the dell precision lineup and i did say i have a feeling just like the rest of the market is pretty much aiming towards competing against Apple. So I do have a 14 inch MacBook Pro and let's have a look at the footprint size just to have a be curious about that. So I'm just going to bring this thing up and let's try and bring this together and I can just tell you straight away the MacBook Pro at the back is just a little bit larger in terms of its lengthwise and as for the wideness it's about the same and I've got to say in terms of the actual weight of it, the MacBook Pro is a little bit more heavier, I can feel that, compared to the Dell Precision 5470. And as for the thing, it's pretty much on par, is what I'll call it. I do have another little extra case, but it's pretty much what I'll call on par. Uh, so it's not too bad, but as for terms of like the feel and look of it, I know a lot of times we do use the Apple MacBook Pro as the premium feel to it. I think this Dell Precision is, has just as good premium feel compared to the MacBook Pro. I think they're pretty much on par. Maybe even say this has a little bit more better feel to in terms of the aluminium uh, compared to the MacBook Pro. Hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, it will help support my channel. Smash that like for me. It does help me out. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button on the screen. I do try below a new video every week. And also I have a membership if you want to help me even further supporting by hitting that join button right next to the subscribe button. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.